So what is going on everybody? My name is Mehul and welcome to your 12th electron tutorial in which I'm gonna create the rest of the area of the app instead of just focusing on the toolbar because essentially that is what our app is all about, right? So again, since we are making use of Angular, why not? Let's just get into ng views. Uh, let's just say this is our main content and I'm gonna say this is an ng view because views are cool. And now we can play around with the route provider we have in here. Okay, so we have the home controller and uh, we are on the home page. So it's time to see what goes in here. So I'm going to say this is div ID file picker. And uh, we're going to say this is an open file dialog box. And that is it pretty much. So for this, what we need to do is to say ng click pick file, something like that. And uh, we can say scope.pick file and uh, the function. And here, magic goes, which we're going to take a look in a moment. But let's just style it first because styling is important. Why not? So I'm just going to make it full width which would pretty much or rather just let's just make this one height 100 vh or let's just say minimum height just in case we exceed our content display flex flex direction column and uh, for main content main content I'm gonna say flex row one so that yep and I'm gonna say this again display flex flex yes that should be it I guess yep so and finally again we can just do one more thing here and say file picker is actually align self stretch right there I guess we need to do flex direction of column here or rather row okay I guess we can say with 100% to it and we can finally say this is a flex item as well uh, we would just bring it vertically centered okay so I was trying to keep CSS all at once but uh, eventually I had to do it individually so that is it and if we take a look again we will see our open file is in the middle and we can say some more things to file picker cursor pointer and font size 3 I guess we were playing with pixels right we can just do 1.5 rem I don't know it's just easy to write small numbers Pixels is fine too. And there we go. So we have our open file ready. Now, what do we do about this? So now what we are going to take a look at is the dialog module of Electron, which would actually help us to open a dialog box. Now, traditionally, you can do that with input type file as well. But with Electron's dialog, you get more control, like the user can just switch over to from custom files to all files so you are probably guaranteed that the user is uploading at least a file which ends in png if not an image but with the input type file you can just pretty much change that custom files to all files and you can go about any file then all right enough of talking let's get to work so First of all, I'm going to get my dialog, which is actually contained inside remote module, right? So let's just see what's happening here. We're getting remote from electron and then we are getting dialog from remote, right? So we're going to make use of this dialog because this is a main process thing and it's not available in um, renderer process. So we're going to make use of remote to get access to this API. And I'm going to say this is dialog.show open dialog and actually you can just jump over to the documentation as well 
if you are confused so it says me dialog does show an open dialog and then browser window is optional and the option goes in right there perfect so let's just begin by saying that the properties of this dialog would be open file if we take a look here you can see that uh, says me in properties open file allows files to be selected which is exactly what we want you can go with open directory as well if you're creating an app which requires you to upload folders right so we're gonna go with open file for now and finally we're gonna make use of something known as filters which would help us to filter our um, files which we want the user to upload like for our case it should be just an image file so i'm gonna go name is images and actually this should be something like this and then extension should be jpeg jpeg png and uh, i don't know let's just keep it to these trees right now you can add more image extensions if you want Right, you just need to add the extensions, not the dot or anything like that. Right, so we'll be good to go. Again, you can just read about the filters here, uh, not there, but right here, there's somewhere filters. Right, so you can see that we had just added this thing. You can just go with GIF as well. I forgot about that. So you can go with movies, custom file types, anything like that. So the next thing is the callback. What happens if the user has selected something? Function file and then we're going to console.log file to see what it actually is, right? Okay, so lots of stuff going on here. Let's just see some in action. So just click on this and we already have our errors show open dialog is not a function and if you take a look show open dialog is a function bro oh well that is embarrassing this should be actually here right because i do not want dialog to be just an object inside object so let's just take a look again hit this and you can see that we get our dialog box open and you can see that we just have access to this images only but if you would have done this via html input type file tag then what you would see something like custom files and then you can just go ahead and select all files here and then select any other file so that kind of is uh, an advantage so again i'm gonna go with e1 and let's just see in the console we got an array because it allows us to have actual actually multiple selections so we're getting an array with the the first element being the full path to the file now let's just see if we do not select any file and it cancel okay we get undefined cool uh, we can just say that if file that means the file exists or the user hasn't actually clicked cancel so we can pretty much say that our file name is uh, or actually our file path is uh, what we have in file zero right so we are saying while path is file zero and we're gonna need this path somehow right so we're just gonna take a look at that how we would do that right now i'm gonna redirect our application to edit so that we can now open the edit screen and location goes in here so that we have access to that and for the route provider we can say that when it is edit i want template url to be the same thing let's just change the component from home to edit image and uh, edit image.html and the controller might be edit controller right and we can just define an otherwise wise as well just in case we mess around and we can say template for for row anything like that so yeah and let's just see how this looks like for the app 
and let's just restart it one last time and e1 it is but we do not get redirected do we okay so looks like yeah obviously because this is not a part of angular right so angular does not know that our location has changed so obviously we need to inform angular that we have updated some changes and you need to work on them angular so again if we take a look e1 we have some errors what do we have um i guess my guessing from this url i guess we have to create component first edit image and uh, we can pretty much create edit image.html gotcha just like that and e1 it is you see we get gotcha but we get an error as well <clears throat> which is some sort of weird error we'll just take a look at that later on so <clears throat> that is pretty much how you can make use of this dialog to show a dialog and there are a lot of other dialogs as well for example when we'll allow the user to save we can just go ahead and save show save dialog and that will show a save dialog then we have show message box and uh, that would create a kind of an alert but a native one so yeah that's all for this one and uh, if you liked it then please don't forget to subscribe and hit the like button and that's all and i'm gonna just see you then in the next video with continuing this application and improving this a little bit more so see you then